All right, ladies. Uh, I'd say this is more of a mod showcase than mod review. And the reason I say that is I already know, and everybody else knows, hog barn feed mill. All right, fair. So this is the feed mill I made from Elm Creek's uh, buildings from Giants. And with this, we are able to create pig food out of corn. So your corn out of your corn field, we're dumping right here into this hopper. I know it's a little tight, possibly move it yet before final release. And then we're going to get the pig food out right over here. So it works out perfect. You do not have to worry about buying it and you do not have to worry about um, feeding the pigs every last little crop that is even available. Now I'm going to move over here and show you guys a little bit about Western Iowa's hog barn. Now a huge thing to note on this hog barn, it is a 2500 head capacity hog barn. And if you had a nav mesh that held that many, the game would not run. Then again, how are you going to make a nav mesh in something like this? So what we got is over here is where the pigs will roam around. You can see the back gates are off. That is just so you don't have pigs running through the aisles and everything. Now these pigs are static. It is in your best interest to leave them alone or delete them. But it, it helps. I mean, that's all I got to say about it rather than... Uh, completely tearing down your computer and frames per second anytime you get close. Now this little trigger over here, as you can see in the top left, that would be for the fans. And yes, outside the fans do work. You can hear them, you can see them spinning. If they're not spinning for you, you got to remember to go get Thunder's uh, animated object script from his itch.io. And that will just add on to everything that a map maker, mod maker could even possibly think of for animated objects. It helps make the thing spin constantly rather than on off type thing. Then you got the trigger over here for the curtains. You move back a little bit the entire building you got trigger for your shed lights inside and curtains go up and down very nice touch and then we're gonna move right outside come on right outside the loading chute here we open the animal dialogue here by some animals as you can see thousand head there we're gonna buy this by another thousand. No. Come on. We're going to buy another thousand here. And then you click on it again. 2400 head. Excuse me. Not 25. 2400. So there you go. You got 24 head of pigs in here. I'll show you guys quick this nav mesh. For where the pigs can run. And this is all you're going to see moving. And that just helps with the performance of your game and your frames per second. So, I mean, it, it's not a bad touch. Still see them. They still roam around. Now, this is where my feed mill comes in handy. The hog barn has about a 200,000 liter capacity for pig food. They're going to eat that in about a month. Depending on what time scale you play on, what season scale you play on, everything like that is going to determine how much you got to feed them. So you pop right into here. And it is a tight fit. I don't have very many semis that are any bigger than this one. But that would be the only reason I move it. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll decide.
but we'll get this whole hopper bottom set right in here. Oh, come on. There it is. That was just me having a moment, so it worked great for me all the way along. And then we'll come back to the door. It, this is a placeable system, so wherever, however you want to do this, it works great for like a co-op. Then you can come over, make sure you activate it, and let it run for a while. But we got plenty of capacity in here for corn, plenty of capacity for pig food. Now, once you get some pig food made, produced, uh, you're going to grab your trailer, however you want to do this. And Lazy E has been kind enough to me to allow me to test the feed trailer he's been working on and it helps out a lot with my uh, testing my mill and Western's hog barn but the biggest thing about this is getting up to the right triggers I forgot to speed up the time scale. So we're not going to have that much pig food to grab right now, but it's all right. It'll still get you guys to... Oh, come on. Where are you at? There it is. In the wrong spot like normal. Right there is your pig food. I made it so you could empty all the corn out of here too just in case you wanted to sell it so you're not out every everything that you put into it. And as you can see there's I mean we're just letting it run at the sped up time scale now. So that's what you're gonna produce. And then I'm going to bring this right around and it's simple enough with your trigger right there on the loading chute pigs in and out the water is done automatically and right over top of these bends is your feed trigger you see the little yellow box up above the bends so that's all you got to get into and Depending on how long you hold your pigs for will depend on how much money you make. But we can go look in at our pigs here and there you go. Our feed's going up. They produce slurry. There's plenty of storage for slurry in here. And well, it's that simple. I mean, it really is. Just some dang pigs and a lot of them. So you can challenge yourself with this all you want. Put a couple of these down. Get 4,800 or yeah, 4,800 ed. Or, you know, you can go giant and put 10 of them around. It's going to be a challenge either way you go. And you're going to have to produce a lot of corn and feed with it. But thanks for watching, guys. And... I hope you enjoy once they are publicly released.